So I'm on this service call and well, I noticed the compressor wasn't running. So this is how to check a compressor. We're gonna ohm it out. My meter leads together, work. So now, open line. It's not good. So I'm gonna have to go to the compressor, but open line. And now here's the third wire. Open line. Oh, it, we got something very high resist. Okay, that one's good. That's not. So we're not grounded or we'd be blowing the breaker. But now I'm gonna go to the compressor because I don't trust just off the leads in case something dis disconnected. And as I come in here, wires don't look broken. That looks a little squish, but let's see. How are my terminals? Oh, this compressor is hot. It's really, really hot. So yeah, it's off on thermal. Not even worth checking here yet until I cool it off. I'm gonna run water on it. Boom. Here I go. Starting to spray. You can see that steam just coming right off of it. It's very hot. What I'm gonna do is dry this off, dry that off, just plug this on. There's no power. Just to kind of keep those a little bit on the drier side. You can just see that steam coming right off that compressor. So. Just watering a compressor. It's like watering grass in a garden. It's watering a compressor. See, is it gonna steam still? Just trying to get the overload to reset inside. Hopefully it's not shot. Once I get it to close, I'm gonna mag it to see what the insulation's like. Cause when you overheat it, you could damage your insulation. Let's see, is it still hot? Still have steam coming off the side, you see? So I'm gonna hose it for a little bit longer. All right, so now I've cooled this off. I'm not gonna say it's perfect, but it's cooled down. So now I'm gonna connect this to the ground. I'm gonna mag it, because this is the best way to check a compressor. Make sure the insulation's good. So, boom, we're on the post. You always gotta be on a good ground. Okay. Good. Now for the next terminal. Okay. Good. And the last terminal. Dang. Of course my tools like to fall. But, I mean, I bet you guys never seen a meg this old. No, I'm kidding. Boom. On. Good. So all the terminal insulations are good. So. They all, because they're good, I should be testing the compressor. It should test good. So let's go here to here. For three nine. Okay, here to here. 2, 9, here to here, 2, good, yeah, perfect, okay, so this should turn on, yeah, cause of this we have to find, uh, back on, okay, just going to reconnect the wires, so let's see if we start. Boom, it's on. All right. So compressor came back on. Let's see what my pressures are. 
Uh oh, that's why we overheated. No charge. I'm gonna have to add R22 to this thing. That's what it looks like. I gotta see what they wanna do though. Cause that compressor is struggling. So that's why it overheated and opened the windings. Alright, so they want to see at three pounds what happens. We may not go the full three, we may go more, but let's see what's going on with this machine. Our scale is starting at zero. So low pressures, almost nothing. That's open. And gas it. And go up to three pounds. May not need it, but we only used one ounce. Let's see where we go. But suction's high. Liquid line is lower than suction. So let's gas it and see what happens. We're at 69 now. 68 PSI. I might have to go in as liquid because my cam pressure is not that high. Let's uh, stop for a sec. So, we're four ounces and six PSI. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going liquid. I'm gonna flip my can. And this is gonna go a lot quicker. Okay, home. Cancel, boom. Okay. We have no subcooling, it's a TXV. So, we've got one pound and let's see what happens, boom. At one pound, where are we? Superheat, boom. Look, my liquid and suction, same temperature and something is not right there. So I got them on the wrong line. I believe they're on the wrong line, so let's switch. But, Oh wait, no, that should be good. I just don't have any superheat. Whoopsie, well, we're up to 15 at one pound. Let's see what happens. Will we get closer? Uh, 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 uh. Here we go, I'm gonna go another pound. I'm not even gonna bother to care what that says yet. Let's get to two pounds and then see. Because we definitely need at least another pound or two. So let's see when we get to two. Because look, suction line is still 86 degrees. Liquid line's dropping. Maybe I do have the wrong side. Whoop, whoop. Yep, okay. Okay, we're almost at two. 86, we're still not cooling. Oop, two. Okay, stop it. Let's see where we are. Uh oh. Oh, that's not too promising yet. No subcool. Suction line is 87 superheat. Is it dropping? Uh, well, I told them no matter what. Let's uh, give it a minute and see, but I don't think this is too promising. Because suction line got warmer. Liquid line did too. But that's good because it's rejecting heat. And that can't be, liquid line cannot be colder than the outside. So, see, outside is. in the 90s. So. Let's uh, go my last pound. That's all I could do. It's 91, I think, somewhere around there. Here's the last pound. Hopefully, this does something, or they got to put in another one. Two and a half compressor. At least it's sounding a little better. So that means this should start to come down, which it is. All right. Let's stop it at three. Uh, 
Okay, three pounds. Gonna let it run for a minute, I gotta go to the bathroom. All right, I'll say one more. So we're going to four. But this is at least dropping a little. Yeah. Like some other guy called us a chicken. Chicken. Take it off. That the lady washing the unit upstairs. All right. Is there any way to repair that is there or not? You're not gonna have refrigerant though for it. That's gonna be the biggest problem. Is that you're not gonna have the refrigerant available. Right now, five pounds. 26 degrees of superheat. I'm curious to see where this goes. Suction pipe is 59. Superheat's dropping. I may have gotten a good charge with the five. May not be perfect, but might have got a good charge. Except for it's a little worrisome on an 87 degree day, a 60 degree friggin' suction. But superheat's coming down, suction line's coming down. So, I'm gonna ask them to just make sure their filter's clean also. So this is actually a high velocity system. I mean, my superheat's 21, it's not bad, sub cool. I have a 20 degree split inside. So, I'm gonna leave this how it is. I mean, I'm not going over what they don't wanna spend money on, but it's actually cooling pretty nice right now. Well, till next time, I'm out. We got that nice sweaty beer can cold suction line. Somebody banged up. Peace.